ya se olvidó, pero <risa> etiquetamos al profe o algo, no te van a comentar. Sí, sí, sí. <risa> no, porque luego se guarda. Si con él no está bien. Hi, welcome back to Multiradio 97.5 FM. We are very excited to be here with you today. Today's topic is poverty in El Salvador. It may be something we don't really talk about, but we should. So we're going to do it today. So let's take a look at some facts. Um, Did you know that 13.9% of the Australian population is living below the poverty line? Wow, that is very shocking. That means that almost 14 people out of 100 live in poverty <coughs> in Australia. Women earn 82 cents every dollar a man makes. Unfortunately, we still live in a society where women are considered less than men, and somehow the work is not good enough. Uh, an important fact to know is that 14.9% of children are poor. Well, that I think that's enough facts for now, so we should take a break. Let's hear the song, Shape of You. Por la canción, mira. Ah. <risa> Renudar. Ay, en el Face. Oigan, nos pusieron no. copyright. <risa> bueno. Ya sabemos so, de quién era la canción, no era de nosotros. Tranquilo. So we're gonna go back to the radio. Yes. Uh -huh. um, Do you know Australia is ranked as the second country with the best quality of life? The quality of line index 183.33 uh, people. In fact, Australia has failed to reduce its level of oral poverty in the community since <coughs> 2003 and 2004. Although poverty in Australia isn't as, as, as extreme in other countries, that's why we don't listen to it as much as in Africa, Mexico, or other places. Yeah, that's probably why we don't hear a lot about poverty in Australia. For example, in 2016, the reports indicated that persistent and entrenched poverty in Australia. It shows that in 2014, the poverty line for a single adult was $426.30 a week. 
that's a lot if you compare it to people in our country. Now let's make a quick break to say hi to our subscribers. If anyone wants to um, send a message or something, for example, Zurda, hi, thank you for your comments. Jimena Hernandez, uh, hi, thank you for subscribing to us. Um, hi, Liv. Did you know that for a couple with children in Australia, the poverty line was $895.22 a week? Oh, that's a lot. Now let's make a quick... No, that's too much. <laughs> now let's make a quick break to, see, to say hi to our subscribers again. Mm -hmm. We hey. send a uh, hi to uh, Miguel hey. Monroy. Hi to Carlos Monroy. Luis Eduardo, Luisito. How are you doing? Hurtado, yeah. hablen, hablen. We're talking. Thank you, Luis. You're all so cute. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> and we say hi to <laughs> Turdos Mom. Yes, hi Turdos Mom. How are you? Hola. <laughs> so, we'd like to know what you think about poverty in Australia. Yes, like, talk us about what you think. How do you feel about that? How could you help? I personally think that even though um, there are a lot of there's a lot of poverty in Australia, it isn't as bad as it is in other countries, and they have managed to maintain it to a, a minimum of people. What do you think? Well, I think Australia is one of the wealthiest countries in the world, and maybe because of all the technology they have and well. That's my also, idea. they have invested uh, a big amount of money in education. That is very important for any country. Yeah, I also think that education is uh, the foundation for the future of a country. And in this case, Australia has invested a lot of money into the education for their children. And that means that they will have more tools for their future and they'll be able to make more income. Um, by 2020, no Australian polluter will live in poverty. The only reason to introduce an emissions trading scheme is, is if you accept the scientific evidence that unless we drastically reduce emissions, dangerous climate change will occur in our lifetime. Yeah. Um, it's time for another break. Yeah. Yeah. Well, better now. Well, kind of. We can Let's hear the new song, Happy, from Barrel Williams. Or new from <laughs> 2014, I think. Uh, we'll leave you here in a really short break. Okay, I, hi again. We are here so back in our new program. So now we're going to talk about what are some of the causes of poverty in Australia specifically. So five key factors that affect poverty are work, income and wealth, education, housing, and health and services. For example, uh, education, as we already talked about it, if someone doesn't have uh, the basic education, they're not going to be able to have a job in the future and that affects their income they make. Okay, <laughs> I'll just read. Housing, although Australian income level levels are some of the highest in the world, any increase in salary levels has not been distributed evenly. Uh, in fact, 10% of the population have enjoyed 50% of their salary hikes. Uh, this means those earnings the, what? the least often remain on the minimum wage. Uh, within insecure empl employ employment and rent, and rent rather than buy their their own homes, they suffer the brunt of paying of 
for Rising House, prices pushed up by a boom in real estate. Well, this means that, in fact, Australia, most of its population have the um, minimum salary, so they enjoy of a good job and they bring money to the family. That's great for any country and that means a big improvement in Australia's economy. Yeah, so another thing is the work. Some, so sometimes the, work mar the job market isn't very good and that this causes that many people get laid off so they don't have a stable income anymore and that's why they suffer a lot um, by trying to get money, trying to sustain their family. And I think that's one of the most important ones because if they don't have a stable income, so they don't know what will happen next. And they're desperate to find a new job, but sometimes there isn't a lot of opportunities. So, so we thank you for your, your attention to all our, our subscribers. And we send a message. Um, hi to Luis Eduardo and to Ceci. Thank you for commenting. And we'll see you next time.